Guys, hey, welcome, <laughs> welcome to another great episode of this great channel, of this great life. Hi, so I want to confess my name this time. So my name is Andy, my brand is Katie Beach, and I'm very happy to be again with you. What a time to be making art. So it's probably 2 a.m. in the morning. I have duties to do in the morning, at night. But yes, inspiration just came because I was going to sleep. It was going to be just a sleepy night, but then a mosquito woke me up. And then I started to record and then <laughs> and I'm just here. <laughs> Look at the apps, guys. Remember in this channel, I always tell you and encourage you to be your greatest self. If I, I'm, if I am my greatest self, I paint, I teach, I dance, I move. Okay? So it's really important to do all of these things. Thank you so much for watching my last episodes. Um, I'm surely gonna like finish you off my blog of like my retention in Vancouver, and I want to touch on some really interesting topics. Well, first of all, you know that I am your teacher of arts and crafts. I want to also I learn also with you, okay? Yes, hello! <laughs> How are you today? Yes. I'm very, very good. Thank you for asking. I'm super good. Um, I switched to do a dance to you because you subscribe to my channel. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, remember this is a channel of expression and art. And you know, my way of expressing myself is in many ways. One is showing up, of course. I do or I practice my contortion, even though I still have a long way to go. I practice drawing, live drawing. I also want to introduce you to some girls that are alive. Meet Rosita and Stella. I drew these girls out of a book of um, life drawing book. I characterized them and they turn up like this. Rosita and Stella are alive now. They live in my mind and they sometimes help me. So today's topic is about imagination. Sometimes when I'm alone in my house, I sometimes it gets really, really quiet. Really, really quiet. What I'm practicing is to speak up make noise because voice has vibration when i speak up then i'm speaking to somebody or something anything else imagination can be very very helpful and brilliant if i drew this girls then sometimes <laughs> let's do an exercise right now live so hello girls, how are you? <laughs> oh, they say they're really happy to see you too, like, and they're saying thank you because I introduced you. Oh, they say, why did I wait so long for this? Oh, really? Yes, they're always smiling and they're very happy that I do this. Thank you, thank you. They're actually congratulating me for all the new subscriptions and I want to say thank you for the new subscriptions. They want to say that they're going to soon be on a game, hopefully. I need the team for the game. And um, they say that <laughs> they don't want to be. Because sometimes I draw them with clothes, but I don't think they like clothes. So you see, this is how you speak to some things. I don't think I'm crazy. I just think I speak to things. And things really have energy and things really can help you out. It can be your drawings, guys, if you start to draw. Draw your theme. 
this uh, this girls are my team. If you go to my page, you will see something like, hello, we are Rosita and Stella. And Rosita and Stella are these girls. They live in my head. Yes, I know, I need to like draw them in different poses and stuff. We can soon have a class about that. Today, I just kind of like want to like say, first, thank you so much for all of the beautiful subscribers that really clicked on subscribe. I truly appreciate it. And you just make me really, really happy. And um, I just want to like uh, reinforce <laughs> that this is an art channel, okay? I feel like very, uh, like I'm an art princess. So what about art? I don't know. Uh, we can draw and paint. I usually paint with acrylics. I'm not that good at oil yet. But we're having a paint session, hopefully, um, when the sun comes, because right now it's night time. A quick story for the class. Thank you all for coming to today's class. Today I'm on my room. Sorry again for the messy, but let's show you. <laughs> so, another paint. So this is a really beautiful one that I made. It came really, like to paint is really easy actually. Uh, we'll have a live painting session if you wish. I really want it. It's kind of like a dream. But you know what? When I drew this, uh, it's much cool alive. It's like a dog with a big nose. There's this guy with a sword. There's this amazing um, war there so every time I start to draw I start to draw something like this so in this one for example if you can see <laughs> I did this red thing actually this was first in a really beautiful way and then um, I started to draw all of this red things and then I don't like be like, oh no, I drew that. I must follow that. I can I just go and put my layers of paint. I don't know how this is gonna end. We'll hopefully finish that together in daytime. But so we have like natural light. But I just felt really inspired today to speak to you about imagination. And magic. I believe those two words really inspire myself. And I am blessed to invite you to invite those things into yourself and your life. And imagination is a practice. If we have the power to imagine anything, why would you imagine cows? This is how you transmit how things. Um, if you need a team, if you are always complaining like, oh, um, I wish I can do that, but I don't have my team. Well, then imagine that your team is something and it actually tells you what you need to hear. All of these things are really, really powerful and I truly invite you to do so. Another thing is, <laughs> I don't know guys if you watch my Vancouver vlog, I went to Vancouver, now I'm back to my house in, I'm not going to tell you where, <laughs> well yes, I live in Mexico, I live in Guadalajara, um, here it's super hot, um, it's more hot now because it's spring, but it's a really, really beautiful. Um, I'm just going to tell you something that it's actually really important and I, and I feel like I need to share this. So, this time that I went to Vancouver, I was only on vacation. Uh, prior this time, 
I went to study for three years. I came back and I was never here fully. Like I was here and I like, in my family, we all love projects and we all love to, we are builders of many things. And my dad and my mom would often invite me to join projects, but I was never fully here because my energy was always kind of here, kind of there, kind of like wondering where I belong, really. Um, what I want to share is that this time that I could finally go and say hi, I felt, first I felt really champion because you know, I grew like three years. So like everything like I looked up at, especially like girls my age that, you know, I'm a very visual person and this is something I like and I like to replicate up for myself. I don't know if I speak to you. I don't know if I ever touched this with you, but I remember I used to watch girls. So, so um, I was always like very inspired by them. This time that I grew three years and I go back and I kind of like see this. I'm so happy because, like, I am actually my dream girl, you know? This is something really beautiful for me. Another great thing to share about this is, um, it was the first time I ever ate a magic mushroom in Vancouver. This experience really landed me. Like, like this experience really, really, it was, it was... You know, you have all of these visions. If you're really clear on yourself, you can really um, feel how you really are meant to be on this planet. Like you see all of your power, it's really powerful. So I will always relate the place with the magic. And this time that I went there, I did not eat my mushroom, but I felt really magic, magical. It was super interesting. The city was alive, the city knew that I was there. The forest like knew I was there. I was like walking there, and I, it was like they would say hello to me, but I did not need anything. They they kind of like gave me this. They they gave me this message that it's all right that they they still love me, but I don't need to be there to be magic. You know, like my magic is inside me now. Now this is really uh. It's a really beautiful experience because it is really it's 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 a real connection to to everything that we are. Um, this time that I went and I was there only for two weekends, I truly felt that like peace of being um, finally. Um, you know, ready to, in any place that I am, like, I'm truly here. So, because I feel like the city and the forest really told me, like, kind of like, it's like a dial in the moon, like, hey, you really are packed and complete to be yourself anywhere in the planet. Like, the magic is myself, it's not the place. And I tr I'm truly... I'm truly, truly um, grateful for this place that hosts me in those years. Now I am ready for this new episode in my life, in my hometown, with my family and all of these beautiful projects that hopefully I can share with you. Um, this is my personal project. My brand name is Gail Peach. I am working on different stuff. I'm working on my art. Sometimes, not all the time, painting, speaking, but I'm always, you know, working at my stretch and I'm always working on many, many things. So I feel like I really enjoy working. Um, yeah, this is a story about like going back to a place where you're constantly, like, you guys are in the situation where you're like, what if, what if, what if? Well, then go and discover yourself. You will realize surprises. Um, today's April 25, I guess, 
26, 2023. And the whole world is on a big wave of change and it's a new episode that we are entering into. In this episode, we are required to fully understand the signs of the planet because the planet is truly alive and if you can hear it you it's it's very very clear for example <laughs> one day i was with my friends just out in the street <laughs> and then we got an idea and everyone says hey let's <laughs> buy a bottle of wine, let's go and drink it in the street, yo, that'll be fantastic. And you know, my first thought was like, yes, let's do it. I'm on vacation, why not? So we went to the liquor store and bought our bottle of wine. But guess what else? Um, I don't know, my inner feelings were like, uh, I was drinking from the bottle, I was like walking like, yeah. And it was kind of like a little more disconnected. Uh, it was super interesting because I was carrying the bottle on the back with boots. Uh, and, I, and I just left them on a the bench. And we walked away, forgot about it for like three minutes. We realized, we came back and there was no bottle. <laughs> I was super happy that the bottle was gone, guys. I feel like something is truly taking care of me. But what's truly, truly the message here is that I pay attention to that. I could be mad about it. I could have been, um, you know, looking for it everywhere because they were they were also brand new boots that like got me injured on my on my feet. You know what? I let go. Like if if it's Gone, it's gone. It's a message. Things have energy. Everything, everything speaks to you. Like if you feel like you no longer belong on a sport, this happens as well to me. I'm a tennis player. I'm a golf player. Um, I'm, I'm a very, very sporty person. But my first um sport was tennis. I played tennis since I was a girl. So I play tennis really well. Sometimes I can play with you if you wish. But we had it. I go to the court. This is like a year ago, probably two years ago. And um, you know, like any like I I don't say that the 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 place is wrong. The place is really beautiful and it has its energy. It's just myself not fitting in there as I wish. Like a little details like people being like yeah let's play and then i show up and they don't show up or like people being like a little mean or a little like because i play super well and i'm very pretty and i'm just like a doll that plays all the sports you know like I, i'm a barbie of sports so some people may get like mad or something <laughs> i don't know uh, but i feel this vibes of like yo change sports after that i changed to golf and i'm truly enjoying my golf classes and my golf lessons but i learned to see this little signs nobody told me hey move like like with words it was all energy i don't know if i make my point please let me know in the comments if the, all of this is clear I'll try to be clear to you. <sighs> well, these are my two things I wanted to share. One about imagination, another thing about um, energy, how it speaks and how it's a big wave. So it's a big wave really of changes, but we need to just, 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 just wait with it. Certainly, like okay, okay, this is this is going okay. Let's go. You know, if if, if something happens, it's because it's meant to be like that. If you want a brilliant idea, just do it. Hopefully, 
you really understood me. It's my wish that you guys, you guys really understand what I say. Thank you for knowing these girls now. I'm working on my online store. I'm sorry if it's sometimes unavailable. Hopefully it's going to be available. <laughs> We're doing a ton of things. When it's daytime, I want to bathe with you in, in hours. I don't know how many hours, but we'll paint. And also, we have another exercise I want to do with you because I'm reading a really special book and I have some, some really nice quotes from this book. We need to really transform and, uh, yeah, transform many things that we we're not really aware how powerful words are okay so me as your teacher peach i want to open up my notebook with you and start to write really powerful things but we'll do this on another episode right now i'm truly truly thankful because you have subscribed and because you guys are here um I, I really really hope that that you you do this that i'm telling you everything is alive guys objects people of course <laughs> the planet the plants but just try to to understand the vibes you know stuff about brands people are sometimes mad with cool brands like designer brands and people uh need to wear them or people do not but i feel i, I don't have like you know I'm, I'm an artist and i'm a designer so i enjoy it like well designing stuff but the thing is that sometimes sometimes brands carry energy and sometimes they truly make you feel more not that you wore the more, but just, just you know, you know. How can you say? So the 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 anything that you wear will make your your overall person, but it truly helps on how you feel about you. I don't know if you make my point or I went too far. Well, just please. Please, this is your teacher and this is your homework. Recognize the energy of your objects and in your house. And throw away all the things that you think their energy is draining or it's just too old or too old or just just be more sensitive with objects, with your drawings, draw your team right we're having a lot of classes and i'm very very excited uh write down your your story for the week for the weekend just build up this amazing world and it actually happens so it may not happen tonight it's happening in you do not worry if the other person do not see it because you can see it you can you know but eventually, if you are on your world, it happens to you and it's reflected because outside is reflection of inside. But you need to reinforce with your imagination the greatest, the greatest about you, about your family, about your people. And it's a constant, it's an exercise that we need to do, we all need to do for every single day. So I will wrap up this class. I will go to sleep now. And in another episode, very soon, we're finishing this together. Sorry, because I did not start it with you. I bought new paint, so I can finish it for you. Um, just let me know. Sorry, just let me know what would you love to dance, to draw, life drawing, to paint, to speak more? What kind of art would you like? Those are my bestest 
but I, I actually learned with you and there, there's a lot of things that I truly want to learn as well. <laughs> well, thank you all so much for watching tonight's episode. Thank you, thank you so much for your subscriptions. Take care of yourself. Take care of your body and your energy. If you got your homework, guys, please let me know if you do it. And I'll see you later.